Good morning, Canation, and welcome to the morning news for Monday, April 22nd, produced by the I Network. I'm Kaylin Smith. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then pause for a moment of silence. Now to Mr. Sprinkle with our Motivational Monday and a few other announcements. Good morning, I'm Brian Hurricanes. Welcome to another great week of education at the best high school in Mobile County Public School System. Uh, guys, I just want to talk quickly about the uh, Celebration of Excellence that will be this Friday. Uh, kind of a field day. We've got a, a way more food trucks coming this year, so bring your money if you want to. Uh, partake in that. We're going to have a Duncan booth with several of administrators and teachers in there. And I remember this was a reward. Uh, for ninth grade, if you miss 17 days or less, 10th grade, 17 days or less. Uh, junior, you had to show up for the ACT and give your very best effort. And seniors, as long as you're in line to graduate. We'll be sending out a list uh, to your teachers tomorrow. If your name's not on it for some reason, feel free to come by and see me uh, or Miss Smith to find out why. It's either you've missed too many days, you didn't come uh, on the ACT, and, or either you didn't try your best, your teacher noticed that you were done in five minutes and it was a 60 minute test or seniors if you're if you haven't done everything that it takes uh to get across that state so that's this friday uh now everybody will be expected to be in uniform all week this week uh, we will start another attendance challenge but that won't start till next week okay uh, monday motivation a little progress each day adds up to big results a little bit better every single day that's the goal come here get a little bit better Finishing those goals, making sure you what you're doing, what it takes to either pass your course as an underclassman or get across that stage as a senior. Seniors, make sure you tie up all loose ends and don't do anything silly that will prevent you from walking across that stage in front of thousands of people on May 14th. Let's have a great week here at Alma Bryant where excellence is the expectation. Thank you, Mr. Sprinkle, and good morning, Hurricanes. May we now have your attention for morning news. KCD auditions on April 30th through May 3rd. Packets and applications are due April 25th. These packets can be picked up in the offices at Alma Bryant, Grand Bay Middle, and Alma Middle. There's an audition fee for $30. If you have any questions, reach out to Coach Roberts. Any students interested in running for an SJ or class officer position for the 2024-25 school year need to sign up through the link posted on the Bryant Schoology page or scan the following QR code by April 26th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bostar in room 504. Hurricane Grounds will be up and running Wednesday. Two iced coffee flavors will be available this week, caramel and spring surprise for $4. We also have a hot coffee available for purchase. This, the sale is cash only. Now to Izzy with our sports. Thank you, Kaylin. Girls basketball tryouts are today after school in the gym. You must have your paperwork completed and Dragonfly to try out. If you have any other questions, stop by the gym and see Coach Peacock. Want to be a part of the Alma Bryant flag football team? Trials are set for May 20th and 21st directly after school. See Coach Ward for any questions you have. We're looking for incoming 9th graders through 12th graders to join us to be a part of something special. Don't forget, you must have a physical to try out. Interested in joining the Alma Bryant wrestling team? We're recruiting both boys and girls for next season. Scan the QR code on our flyers around school or visit our Facebook page and click the provided link to sign up. For any questions, swing by G2 and chat with Coach Miller. The Lady Cane soccer team will be having tryouts on May 13th, 15th, and 16th directly after school. You must have a physical to try out. If you have any questions, see Coach Huddleston or email him at ahuddleston at mcpss.com. Congratulations to our eSports Rocket League team for making it to the second round of the playoffs. Baseball tryouts are scheduled for May 15th through May 16th. All paperwork must be completed in Dragonfly to try out. Trials will be directly after school at the baseball field house. If you have questions, please see any baseball coaches. Now to Kaylin with more news. Thank you, Izzy. Today's lunch is chicken sandwiches, broccoli, fries, salad, fruit, juice, and milk. Exciting news. Did you know that Our Brown High School boasts two podcasts produced by the iNetwork Media? The Storm podcasts cover all things sports, while Hurricane Watch delves into other events at Our Brown. Don't miss out. Check out both podcasts on Spotify and other podcast platforms today. Seniors, please check your school email for important information from Ms. Davis regarding Cooter, MCPSS survey, and Honors Day. Cooter MCPSS survey must be completed by Wednesday of this week. Attention students, 
Tomorrow, our PTO is hosting a Jeans Day to support Harley Kirkland, daughter of our alumni, Garrett Kirkland, who's battling a rare form of cancer. To help this brave angel, join Mr. Sprinkle on our PTO for a $5 Jeans Day. Additionally, there will be a pizza sale there on Thursday to further support this cause. Thank you, K Nation, for your unwavering support. If you're interested in becoming an ambassador for the school, we are now taking applications for the upcoming school year. Applications are open to all students in 9th through 11th grade. All returning ambassadors must reapply and re-interview as well. Please see Ms. Stokes and JA for more information and to receive an application. Need help with your academic work? Our peer tutors are here to help you in the following subjects. Math, English, Science, and History. To sign up, scan the QR code on the postage located around the school. This concludes our morning news for Monday, April 22nd. We thank you for tuning into the iNetwork and we'll see you again for tom tomorrow for more morning news. And remember, it's a great day to be a hurricane.